Today I'm going to show you how to make something follow the closest player in Rec Room. Now we are starting with the circuits we made in my last video. You can go to the Avengers store and get it for free or you can go watch previous videos. All right, so to start off, we know that when this is going, it's going to be constantly changing the player that it's following depending on how close it is to the monster. And for that, we need to replace this get local player chip with a player variable. But keep this, we're going to use it later. So let's go ahead and hook this up to that first get position chip. Then we're going to have to configure that chip. We're going to rename it current target. Go ahead and submit that name and then make sure that you have synced on. Now, if we go ahead and hook this up again, you'll see that Barry won't start moving and then we get the error noise. This is because at the moment, the current target is not defined. So we need to make a trigger that's going to go ahead and define that first player that the monster is following. We're just gonna use a trigger volume. So now we can hook up the player entered to the current target player variable that we made down there. And we also wanna hook the player that entered up to that as well. So now you can hear the error noise. The player is not defined, but when I go back here and I touch this trigger zone, you'll see Barry will start chasing me. Now for this next part, we're gonna exploit something that Rec Room Circuits does that people who are just getting into circuits probably don't know. Every person in the room has their own circuits, and I'll try to show with an example. So let's say I have a counter in my room and it goes up one every second. As you can see, mine's already been running for a little bit, but when my friend joins, his circuits are just starting. So even though we're waving at each other and interacting in the same room, our counters are different because his circuits didn't start running until he got in the room. I'll make a video going a little bit more in depth on that next week. So now that you know that, we are going to make a system that constantly measures the distance between the monster and the local player, and then it will determine if that distance is closer than any other player, or rather the target that the monster is following. So let's start with what we know we need, which is the distance. We're gonna get a distance chip. Then we want the get local player chip, which we can snag from the starter invention. And then we wanna hook that up to A. So now we need a chip that's going to get the monster. That is the rec room object get first with tag chip. Then we want to hook it up to B. So this is gonna measure the distance between the player that the system is running on and the monster. But we also want to make sure that it follows the closest player. And we need to get the distance that that starting player is from the monster. So for this, we're gonna go over here to our original circuits and we are going to get a float variable. Go ahead and hook up the execution from the current target to that variable. Then we want to configure the variable and give it the name of target distance. Let's go target distance. And then we also want it to be synced. So now remember, we want this target distance to be the starting distance that the trigger player, I guess, is from the monster. So for that, we basically need another distance chip. So again, we want this target distance to be the distance of the current target, that's the player who triggered the trigger volume, and the monster, which is this rec room object get first with tag up here. And remember, we're defining the target distance, so the output here is gonna go to the target distance. So this distance that we just got for that first player that's a target, we need to clone this and bring it over to our new circuits. And we need to compare these two distances and find out which is the least. So for that, we're gonna use a less than chip. Go ahead and hook up the local player distance to the top, and the target distance to the bottom. So this is gonna put out a bool variable, which is true or false. And in order to make the system do something with a bool variable, we're gonna use an if chip. Go ahead and hook up your bool variable there. All right, so if this is true, meaning that the local player's distance from the monster is less than the current distance of the monster's current target, then we want to change who the current target is. And for that, we need to go get our player variable from earlier. So let's go back over here. I'm gonna clone our current target, put it right there. Go ahead and hook up your then. All right, we also want to go ahead and redefine that smallest distance. So we're gonna clone the target distance, move it over here, hook that up. Then we're gonna hook up this distance to that new distance. Now we also know that this target distance is gonna be changing constantly with the person that it's chasing. So we're gonna clone this and bring it over past our set transform chip. And we also want to hook up the float variable to the same spot where it's hooked up back over here. This way the system will be constantly measuring how far the current target is from itself or from the monster. Then all we need to finish up this comparison circuit is an event receiver 
so that it's constantly checking that distance. We will configure that event receiver to be a 30 hertz. All right, we've saved the room. We've got everything going. Let's go ahead and hook up our 30 hertz receiver. He has no player to follow, so right now he's confused, doesn't know what to do. But once we activate it, he will follow me. And then once I make him the closest player, he will <laughs> go toward him. Make sure to use code RCL1 next time you're playing Rec Room. It really helps me out. If you want to learn a little bit more about that thing we exploited to get this to work, click this video here. Or if your brain hurts from doing all the circuits, check this video out here. Oh yeah. Uh, if you want this as an invention, man. If you want this as an invention, 250 likes. That's what I'm going to say.